All right, guys, I'm coming at you with the video today about a keyboard I've had for a while now. It's the exclusive E8.5. I, I've had it for a while. Um, I've just been kind of sitting on it. Do a video on it until I had it properly built because I kind of just threw it together with some holy pandas because that I ended up buying a guy's group buy spot who wanted to sell it for at cost like a while like a few months ago so that's why i got this weird color um you see it's like two different greens and then the back weight right there you can see the two different greens which i'm not a huge fan of it's kind of ugly it's still a nice keyboard i put my crp tulip on it so it kind of matches with the you know beige dark colors got the little orichi on there a little artisan um so i have a solder pcb for it come in so the guy got a a hot swap pcb with a pc plate usually with hot swap you want like a a little bit more sturdy plate like a aluminum or brass because i don't know in my opinion soft plates don't sound that good with hot swap pcbs hot swap just doesn't have the rigidity that bull pcb has um so I've always, in practice, if you're going to go with a hot swap keyboard, go with a hard plate to have a little bit more rigidity and support. But, but it's a nice keyboard. You know, it has some LEDs in here that light up. It has back, you know, LEDs behind the keys too, but I keep it turned off, except I just put it on for a caps lock. I have it turned on. But no, it, it's a nice keyboard. Um, We'll look at some... Uh, stuff stuff about it um, So it is either top mount or a uh, burger o-ring mount that little silver plate right here um, Is where you put the o-ring on well you put it in between the PCB and plate You kind of just wrap the o-ring around it and then this bar this little addition is what pushes on it so I have it as burger mount right now, but you can do just straight top mount if you want. And as you can see, it has a little, uh, you know, accent deal up here and then the back weight back here. On on the PC versions, they actually had a middle weight as well, which I wish they did it on all the boards because I like the middle weight. Instead, it just has like a cutout um, on the back where the, the design, it has the exclusive logo on the back uh but no the price was 365 i think i paid like 400 bucks for mine because it had some extras with it um it's a tkl um it, it's kind of my first high-end tkl that i have on me i have a number one a key call number one tkl coming in the next month or two um but so I kind of wanted, I, I I got one this one in the meantime. I'll keep it. I don't plan on selling it, really. I mean, I could sell this E8.5 700 bucks or so, but I'll keep it. Uh, I like supporting exclusive. I have the E6.5 as well, um, and I got it on the E7.5 V2 Group I, which is a sick board. That's a sick sick board. That's when exclusive really switched up his design. Um, they really, really switched things up on that one, so I couldn't, I couldn't pass. It was like four seventy five or something like that. It was pretty expensive, but yeah, I'll quit rambling. I'll end this video off with a typing test, and yeah, I hope you guys like. Bye.